How the f is her hair this shiny? That just doesn't seem human. It doesn't seem right. Hi, beautiful. All the videos featured in today's video are by a woman named Jennifer Cynthia, and she does amazing hair. She is a hairstylist, and we're about to see some insanely good silk presses. Let's watch. How was your hair after the last silk press? Oh, I was actually okay. And I think I had it in for like over a month. Okay. Yeah, so it lasted quite a while. So you twisted them together. Yeah, kind of, yeah. So did you find that after when you washed it, your hair was completely back to normal? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. It was, it was still okay. It's still the same texture. I didn't think I it think was dry. Long. I didn't no. use, um, I think I did quite low heat for you. Yeah. Because I know that was something you was um, worried about. Yeah, but my hair was still okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This looks like an amazing canvas to work with. She has some beautiful coily curly hair and it looks to be extremely healthy as well. Ugh, that's just the best start to a silk press video when a person just has this beautiful mane. I want to see it straight. How long is it going to be? I must know. You have a good routine which helps as well. Yeah. I don't think it felt dry, although I did do a deep conditioning. Yeah. Because you did say I should uh, try oh, You mean try. after when you washed yeah. it? Yeah. So I think the stylus is right now separating the, for lack of a better word, clumps of hair, clumps of like coils, just to make things easier to then blow dry. That is what I think is going on. I don't know, but it's fun to watch. The hair is getting bigger. The hair is getting longer. The hair is growing. Ah! I love to see it. Oh, wow. You literally... You do sometimes three weeks. I try not to manipulate my hair too much. Oh my god. Look at this mane. That is a whole lot of hair. I feel like when this stylus runs that flat iron through her hair, it's gonna be like like that steam, but then that extreme shine and everything just kinda like whoosh. my favorite part is the flat iron. Wow, I'm gonna learn a whole lot of shit today and I'm excited for it. So the stylist actually washes the hair in sections so that nothing kind of twists together or gets knotted. I'm assuming that's the reason. I don't know why else you would wash in sections, but that is such a good idea. I don't feel like I've ever seen people do that with silk presses before. She's also clarifying the hair, love it, making it really nice and slippery and super, super clean. If you want a really good silk press or just straight hair, make sure there are no oils left in your hair. You can apply oils to style, but making your hair almost dry before you then straighten it and make it pin straight, it kind of adds that like fluffy, just like airy texture to your hair. So that is silky as fuck. Oh, it is foamy. It is sudsy. And she is just doing such a good job at washing the hair. I know that's such a weird thing to say. Like, uh, like, what is she gonna do? Do a bad job? Yeah, she would. I mean, not she would, but there are people who do a bad job at shampooing. And listen, she is giving her the full treatment, baby. She is going in there, every individual section. She is treating the hair like it is a fine piece of fabric. And I love it. Ooh, I want to be this girl right now. This shampoo just probably feels divine on that thick hair. Oh, all those little sections just being like pulled and played with. I would fall right asleep. I would just be like, oh, oh. Uh, I got a massage while I was getting my nails done the other day. Oof. Shout out to the massage therapist at that nail salon. All right, we're rinsing off the shampoo. We're getting to the fun stuff, guys. We're, we're getting there. Another shampoo, another scalp scrub. She is putting in the work. Damn, damn. And now we are putting in a hair mask and we are brushing. Wow, the dedication, man. This girl's hair is about to be the best fun silk press I have ever seen or else I want a refund because that'd be bullshit if it wasn't she's put in way too much work for this not to be the most glamorous thing I've ever seen in my life to be honest all right we are prepping with some kind of spray maybe a conditioning spray maybe an anti-humidity spray maybe a shine spray maybe all of them mixed together we never know and the hair is looking like it's shrinking up but it's about to be stretched out stretched the out. We're going in with the blow dryer and she is fully stretching the hair and <laughs> Can we just talk about the fact that her hair already looks Divine it looks so beautiful. Oh my god. Look at that hair. It looks healthy. It looks long. It looks sexy. It looks beautiful. It looks 
delicious. It looks so good. I cannot wait for the blood iron to come out and just not sizzle her hair off. Just generously apply a lot of heat to the point where it almost burns, but it doesn't burn, you know? That's when I feel like a good silk press is done. I'm only partly kidding when I say that. And this is why Jennifer does a better silk press than all of you bitches. Because she takes it in good, fine section. She pulls that hair. She stretches it with that brush. The stretching with the brush is the hard part to do yourself. You know, this is why you pay a professional to do a silk press. We are putting that grip on the hair, wrapping it around that round brush, and really putting that tension on there. The more tension you have, the better that hair is going to flatten out and straighten and stay there. I really do find it interesting, though, that she works from the top of the head to the bottom. I wonder why. Oh, you know why, actually? Probably because when the hair is wet, you don't want it to be touching any hair underneath it. Because any kind of damp or wetness touching a girl with extremely coily hair, it's gonna cause frizz and we don't want that at all when we're doing a silk press. So that makes sense. Very smart. But that blow dryer is getting that heat right on that scalp. And she's doing a wrap. I forget what they're called, but she's wrapping her hair around the head. That way that hair stays nice and flat as it cools off. Again, I'm assuming I'm making shit up. So take everything I say with uh, a few grains of salt and the hair has been blow dried and it is fluffier than ever. Oh, see, this is where you're gonna get me. When she takes that centimeter wide section, bah, right in the back of the head and she hits her shit with that first little I'm gonna die. Here we go, guys. Get ready. Oof. Almost there. Come on. Almost there. I love when hair steams so much. Steam, guys, is not bad. Steam is usually just product fumes. So I just love the look of it. I love the feel of it. And I know that product is working. Oh, believe me, it's getting flat. Uh, and she's only doing one pass because she said fuck. I don't need any more than one pass because I'm going slow as hell. And that's how you get away with only doing one pass. You gotta go slow, 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 slow. There's no need to burn the hair and keep on doing 20 passes. Like I'd be seeing some videos on TikTok of girls with those blue flat irons, the titanium, whatever they're called, that go up to like 8,000 degrees. They'd be fucking boom, boom. Girl, your hair, like it's gonna come off. It's gonna fall to the floor if you keep doing that. And when I tell you this hair is getting silky, I really mean it. Are you seeing this? Oh boy. Oh my God. The shine is unreal. How the f is her hair this shiny? It's absolutely ridiculous. She's halfway up the head. It is just getting silky in there. And she's still got another step to go. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Sorry, I was just watching the the thing with the <sighs> I can't even speak anymore. What? Yo, she's tossing that hair with that comb and I am melting. I'm gonna be honest with you, it looks like it's not even real hair. What the fuck? I don't think I've ever seen hair this shiny in my whole life. This is crazy. How the fuck? Does it look like that? Somebody tell me. That just doesn't seem human. It doesn't seem right. Did they put a wig on her? Because that is the most incredible texture transformation I've ever seen. I was expecting something nice, but this is beyond. I am very unsure what's going on now. We are putting it in a ponytail. Okay, now we're putting it in a bun. Is this like to add texture, volume? I have never seen this, but I'm so sad because the hair was so perfect and now we're gonna get crimps and shit all over it. What? What is this? Ah. Oh. Oh, she's hot combing the hairline. Holy sh**. That hot comb is on her scalp. Apparently not. It is not touching her scalp, but damn. Y'all got some balls for that one. I would be so scared I'd burn somebody. Damn. How are we gonna bring this to the finish line? Because now it's all crimped. What happened? Aha! I mean, it still looks pretty, but I liked it before. Okay, it looks really pretty. She can't do nothing wrong. We are now curling. That is usually the last step in a silk press. Ooh, and we are doing these precision, precision curls. We are pinning them up. We're gonna make these things so bouncy and beautiful. I was really liking the straight look. We'll see what the curly hair look is. I don't know how it can top the straight hair. Oh, as she takes these curls out. The shine is just actually next level. Wow. 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 Look at the bounce. Ah, oh, yes. I'm not gonna lie though. Personally, I like the straight hair better. I like the curls, but like if we're gonna do the straight hair, let me see it for a second. It was looking smooth as shit, and I was absolutely here for it. But I mean, beautiful. All right, let's watch another one, Jennifer. Oh. 
All right, we got the before hair. It is looking even more coily and curly than the last girl, but just as fun healthy. I'm starting to see a theme on this channel. It is looking so thick, so shiny, and just so ready to be silk pressed the house down boof. Miss mama. We're starting off the process again with just doing the most with the shampoo. Oh, get the hands in there. Get the hands in there. Get that hair clean. You know, while we watch this shampoo happen, I have kind of a story for you guys that I wanted to share. When I was working more in salons, I had a largely black clientele for a long time. And that was because I was the only one who could blow dry and straighten coily hair like this and do it well. I always had so much fun doing it. I always worked so hard to do a really good blow dry and I loved seeing the transfer transformation from curly to straight. It was just so much fun to do and so much fun to see somebody be like, whoa, I've never seen my hair like this before. So I really found myself loving it. But I had a really hard time convincing black women that I will be good at doing their hair. People, when they sat on my chair for the first time, would not trust me at all because I'm white. Uh, which was kind of fun because I got to like prove it to them that I can do hair like this and I do really enjoy doing it. I will make it look really good, but it also got me thinking like, why do black women have such a hard time trusting white hairdressers? And it's obviously because a lot of white hairdressers don't have experience with this kind of hair and it just comes out bad. That is also to blame on hair schools. Most hair schools do not teach you how to do stuff like this, which is crazy to me because we should be teaching how to straighten and blow dry all different hair textures and how to color different hair textures. It was just wild me that we did not learn that at all. Something that we should definitely be doing. Okay, back to what we're watching. We finished the conditioning treatment. Her hair is looking divine. It has been looking divine this whole time, but even more so now it is looking so fresh and ready to get blown out. This is something that I'm learning though, is the like five shampoos. I really feel like that makes a huge difference in making the hair look like glass. Like getting every single last bit of oil and dirt out of the hair is going to make that hair glisten and shine. You know that kind of like staticky shine? When you touch it, it literally shocks you. <laughs> like that is what we're going for here and I love it. The care that this takes though and the time. I mean, I never performed anything to this Degree. I was definitely doing more simple blowouts and um, flat iron treatments. I was not doing a silk press, but the way that this woman just takes care of this hair is impressive. And that is why she probably has a huge clientele of curly hair and does a lot of silk presses. We are putting in this cream that I, I believe is a heat protectant, but you'll notice that she doesn't put a lot of product in it. It's kind of just like one thing and she just puts it all over, which is new to me. Like I used to use a lot, a lot of products. I love products. That is why I create them for a living. Like I love, love, love products. And I think everybody needs a lot of them. This is a different approach to it. Um, she's putting less product in the hair, which generally helps with not weighing the hair down and keeping it nice and fluffy. So if you want that vibe, definitely don't put too much product in and do exactly what she's doing. But if you'd like it more weighed down and kind of like, for me, I feel like when I put more product in, it lasts longer Then do more product. But if you don't care about it lasting a super long time, maybe not. Maybe her silk presses also last a long time. Well, I don't know. We are using a natural bristle brush, which is great for adding shine and smoothness to the hair. It's a little bit more difficult to work with for sure, but it does give you the extremely polished effect if you work with it long enough. And it's a lot easier to brush through knots and hair that is susceptible to knots much easier than it is with a ceramic brush. Ceramic brushes tend to just pull on the hair, whereas boar bristle tends to really smooth the hair out and be gentle on those knots and tangles while you're blow drying. So it takes a little bit of that tension off the scalp for sure. This is definitely the harder way of doing it, but the better way of doing it. And this hairstylist puts in the work. You better work. The most important thing though for silk presses is getting that blow dryer to that scalp. You're basically touching the scalp, but you're pointing the air in the direction away from the scalp so you can get that root extremely flat to the head. That way you have no curls at the root and everything is pulled out and pulled taut so that that curl, that crimping in the hair comes right out. I don't know why she has a bag on the rest of her hair. That is new to me. I don't know what that is. I guess it's so that the hair doesn't touch the wet hair once it's dried. Yo, she is serious about her silk presses. I hope she charges a lot for these. We are working our way around the head. It is getting silky and slippery and uh, I love it. This is looking 
fire. Oh my god. Damn. Time for the flat iron to finish it all off. Oh my god. Super model, stunning, gorgeous. Oh wow. I love that she goes the extra mile, flattening this hairline out even more. So that sh just f stays forever. <laughs> oh my god. That hair is not moving. Oh, the way that I would have to trust somebody to put a hot comb on my scalp like that. Oh my god, she is really combing that scalp. This scares me every time. I mean, I've had black friends tell me like they're just used to having heat on their scalp like that because I guess <laughs> like their moms would really go with those hot combs. I don't know if that's a universal experience, but it seems to be sort of true. Somehow the scalps are just tougher than mine. Uh, I don't know. We're putting in the curls and in the curls. Oh yes. Look at the body and the movement. Oh god. Wow, look at that shine, guys. Look at that shine. Oh. Oh. Wow. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Stunning. I will say, though, once again, I like the hair better straight. I don't know. It's like, if we're gonna go straight, just go, just go straight. Let's not put any body in it. Let's not put any movement. I want it like, it doesn't move. Am I the only one on that? Let me know down below. Do you like it better when it's straightened or when it has a little bit of movement on the ends? Is it just me? I don't know. I'm feeling inspired to give a silk press to somebody. Who wants one? Who wants to be my model? Who wants a silk press? Coming right up. Another head of just perfect hair. A little less curly this time, but still very coily. Oh, it is getting our five special washes or six or seven or eight. I don't know how many she does. I can't even count them. There is a lot of washes going on here. One thing we'll know for sure from Jennifer Cynthia is the head's gonna be clean. They are gonna have a clean motherfucking head. That shit's gonna be squeaky, squeak, 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 soft. Clean. Not soft. Clean. The way that she also distributes that shampoo onto the scalp and rubs the scalp area just ever so lightly is just beautiful to watch. The suds are sudsing. The hair is getting clean as fuck. She also takes her time detangling the sections while the conditioner is on the hair, which I love to see. She just treats this hair like it is a fine piece of fabric. I already said that today, but it's true. And I feel like I need to reiterate that again, just to make sure you really know. And I'm running out of to say today, so bear with me. <laughs> Let's play a little game where I guess how long her hair is gonna be. Her hair definitely looks the shortest. Mm, I'm gonna guess like right here is the length of her hair when it's straightened. I don't know, this one kind of feels, it feels like it's gonna deceive me a little bit. It like doesn't look so curly as the last people, but I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna get tricked here. She does think it's also a section on the crown area. I think she keeps the crown separated so that there's more volume when she blow dries it. But I've noticed that Jennifer works around the perimeter of the head first, which I love. I also do the same thing when I'm working with anybody's hair, especially curly hair though, because the perimeter is where the hair gets the curliest and is the most difficult to get that curl and wave pattern out. And you wanna hit it when the hair is wet, wet. I know why she's putting the bag on the head because the blow dryer tends to dry the hair even though in the sections that she's not working on. While she's drying the rest of the hair, she's making sure that the hair in the bag is staying as wet as possible as she dries the front sections. Because once that hair gets dry, it is not moving. That wave, that curl, that texture is not coming out of the hair. When you're trying to blow out curly hair, you gotta make sure that hair is wet, wet. There's no rough drying when it comes to curls because the curls are gonna rough dry themselves real quick. If the head isn't going like this while you blow dry it, you're not doing enough tension. You heard it here first. Oh, oh, mm, mm. Blow that hair out. Blow that hair out. My favorite part, those tiny little curling irons that just mm, get right up that scalp. She's only set that flat iron to 210 degrees Celsius. What is that in Fahrenheit? Okay. Mm -hmm. 410 degrees. That's pretty fun. Hot. I was gonna say 210. I don't even think that's hot enough to straighten my hair. But now it's 400 and something degrees. But you need the heat, you know, to get that hair straight in one pass. Are you kidding me? You gotta get in there. These sections, I mean, are just paper thin slices. You can't get better than this. Look at that, you guys. When I tell you to take sections, this is what I mean. <laughs> the back is done and it's looking shiny as hell and thick, 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 thick. I still can't tell what the length is, but we're gonna we're gonna touch on that in a second. Oh my God. Around the ears also just perfect. I won. Do you see the front of her hair? It is about to where I expected it to be. So I won the game. I won the game against myself. You know guys, some, I gotta win sometimes. Oh yes. I was gonna say she needs kind of a trim, but Jennifer's got us. She's trimming it away, taking about an inch off and it's looking hella healthy. <laughs> Today's the most satisfying video ever. I'm loving watching this. Wow. That hair is just beautiful. What? What? 
and the classic, put the hair in a bun, wax the hairline, and hot comb it. And then my least favorite step, which is curling the hair. I like it straight. Is that such a crime? We're curling, we're curling, we're curling, we're curly, curly, curls, curls. Ooh, ah, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She is glowing from within, and her hair looks insanely incredible. <laughs> Jennifer, thank you for those videos. They were very fun to watch and very satisfying, and you are incredible. If you wanna check out her channel, you can do so with the links right down below. If you guys wanna check out my hair care or my hair color line called Xmondo, go to xmondohair.com, and that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.